Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Octus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect Notion to or with ChatGPT. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just on this video. So let's get started. Now, usually in order for you to start using Notion alongside with ChatGPT here, you need to add a bunch of tools or capabilities on your browser. So we all know that ChatGPT and Notion are two separate uh, platforms here, but you can use them together with something that we need uh, We need to set up first. So first is you want to access both ChatGPT here and your Notion account. So you may want to log in into, into those two platforms. But once you've done that, what we need to do next is we want to go ahead and install a specific uh, add-on here or a plugin or extension into our browser. Now, by the way, just to give you some idea, I'm using Google Chrome here, if you're wondering. But yeah, so let's go open up our uh, search here and just type in ChatGPT to Notion uh, Notion Marketplace. Now, typically in here, there's going to be a bunch of links, but what you're looking for is going to be Notion Marketplace here. You could go and open it up. Now, in this case, specifically the ChatGPT to Notion app here or Notion integration allows you to connect your two accounts here by a very specific way. Now, we could actually use or utilize like databases inside Notion here to basically um, connect those two uh, platforms. So let's just wait for it to load up and we should be able to add this. Let's go ahead and click on add extension to Notion. And you just need to enter your email if you want to basically subscribe to their, uh, in this case, um, a new uh, weekly newsletter. Let's go and click on No Tanks, just add extension to Notion. And it's going to start the process here of you adding the actual uh, extension itself. So it might take a while, so just wait for it. Now, it might redirect you to Chrome Web Store here, so just click on Add to Chrome here and click on Add Extension. Now, once you've added extension here and it's now installed into your uh, browser here, we should be able to start using it. So again, it might take a while here, just wait for it to finish. Now, once it's actually installed, you can go to the top right here, click on the extension button, and you can go and just pin chat to Notion here, and you should be able to, uh, able to access it. Now, you can go and just click on uh, the Notion uh, button here, uh, to see it, and from here, you just need to allow a few things. Now, you can go and click on select pages here if you want to allow uh, access to a very specific page here. So, we are using a new page here. Let's go and just choose, click on select pages. And you can go and just choose private here, and I want to only include it in the new page here. Click on allow access. Now, once we've provided access here, it should give you this page here, but we are good. So in this case, uh, how do we use this? So what we need to do is we want to go back in here and we want to go to our new page here and let's go and click on the plus button and you want to go and just search for a database. So just type in database and let's go and choose table view here for database. Now from here, what we need to do is uh, we want to set this up further. Now in your table, you may want to add a name for it. Let's just say there's going to be a test table. Now once we're done, let's go ahead and just click on the empty spaces here and let's go back into ChatGPT. Now in ChatGPT here, you want to go and access the, uh, in this case, the Notion icon at the top right of your uh, extensions. And you want to go and just search a database that you may want to use. Now it might take a while to search for the database itself because again, it's actually uh, linking into your, uh, in this case, account in Notion uh, for it. So that's why it's important to add a, a uh, table name for it. So in this case, our case, it's test table. So again, uh, you just wait for it. Let's go and select test table here. And from here, you need to add a URL property for this DB inside Notion to use it. So what we need to do is we want to add the URL property here. So here, let's go and click on add property. And let's just type in URL. And from here, let's go and choose text as the base here. Let's uh, keep the actual name as URL. Let's go and try using it in here. Click on Notion button again and see if it works. So let's go and select test table. Again, it's going to say inside Notion to use it. Also, by the way, you may want to click on change type here and choose the URL property uh, as well as the type. But once you've done that, you should be good. Let's go back in here, click on Notion. It's going to select our database here and we should be good. Now, from here, it's going to say save to test table here. So whenever we actually uh, do any search or did anything inside a uh, chat GPT here, like for example, give me a recipe. Uh, let's just say that like, give me um, a uh, a sample text about global warming. Just press enter. That should start giving us our soul here. So in this again, it might take a while to finish, but once it's actually done, 
you could go and just click on the motion icon it's up right here you could go and click on save full chat and it's going to start converting whatever you have right now here on chat gpt into our notion account so in this case as you can see global warming overview and that's also the url that we just recently added but yeah so this is a good way for you to basically add um or connect your two accounts here for notion and chat gpt the easiest way that we can do it but in this case that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video